just like not to speak, but in support of Miss Sullivan. After Miss Sullivan, Jarvis Ross, followed by Noor Cosme and the Girls Think Tank. Good morning, council members. Um, my name is Martha Sullivan. I am a resident of San Diego and a council member Lightner's district. I'm also a small business owner in that district. Um, the city clerk is distributing a copy of a ballot proposal that I have submitted on behalf of Occupy San Diego for consideration by your body to be placed on the June uh, ballot. It will be heard in the Rules Committee tomorrow morning. The purpose of this ballot pro proposal is to provide for uh, our First Amendment free speech and uh, peaceful assembly rights in the public areas of the city just as it's required currently in the San Diego Municipal Code for privately operated business premises. I understand that with our strong mayor form of government, the council is limited, very limited, into uh, whatever direction it can give the San Diego Police Department. But this proposal gives you the opportunity to uh, stop the intimidation, suppression, and harassment of San Diegans exercising their First Amendment rights to free speech and peaceful assembly. And it will also put the San Diego Police Department, you know, redirect them back to what they ought to be doing, which is protecting and serving San Diegans not repressing and intimidating our free speech rights. So I, I hope you will take this under serious consideration because this is something that you can do as a city council. You, it is already present in the San Diego Municipal Code for private business premises. And in fact, that's you know, where Ray Lux was unlawfully arrested in front of the Civic Center Tower for registering voters, and that's why no charges were filed. So I encourage you to consider this. I encourage you not even to wait for the June ballot. Go ahead and pass it yourself, because this is what your job is, is to, is to follow the U.S. Constitution and the state Constitution. I also, as a, as a member of Councilwoman Lightyear's district, I, I just want to ask you, Councilwoman, I hope when Pastor Ron Dismuke was speaking about the loss of our friend, you were over there speaking with the city attorney when he asked for a moment of silence. I would ask for your apology for that. I'd be delighted to apologize. I did not hear that request. I do apologize to the um, folks here. Thank you. Jarvis Ross, followed by 